auf. Auf. Psych. Um. Right. First off, we wanted to see. I am fair. Be reasonable. <laughs> uh, so I'm using a different profile on my computer to uh, to set up the recording, so I don't lose all of settings and stuff. Point, but all that kind of stuff is reset to start. Uh, anyway, right. Uh, we have 28 pops. Eight of which are robots. Uh, robots can only do farming and mining jobs at the start. Uh, it is nice that we're actually already starting with a uh, with with, ro with robots. Essentially, right? Um, availability minus six. You see that minus thirteen point seven percent happiness. Your happiness is over here, forty two percent happiness, and oh, minus seven to stability. Uh, now that can go up to plus 25 percent. I think a uh, hundred percent stability. Stability you want really high. The higher your stability, the better. The lower your stability, there's no point in having the planet if you've got low stability. Uh, right, how to get stability? Uh, there are ruler jobs as an administrator and as noble, and we can build noble houses because that's who we are. Uh, um, these guys take up more um, consumer goods upkeep, typically speaking, uh, than these take up, uh, or actually, sorry, they're robots. I don't use consumer goods anyway. Um, than your than than your worker jobs. Uh, and I, and I, um, right, forty-two percent happiness. I'll go into factions in just a moment, um, which we'll see. But if you go into species, set rights. Decent conditions, you can see that you have greater happiness um, for your rulers and your specialists um, the lower down you get. Um, the political influence of slaves and workers is much lower. So, the happier your rulers are, then the more stability your planet has to a point until it starts getting overtaken by having too many slaves on the planet, which is, you know why having the ability to build more rulers uh, a, a, a building that creates more ruler jobs is really good um, that one's really quite tempting uh, 900 from rulers political power 400 from specialists that's 700 100 uh, I think we only get that because we're materialist. Uh, I think. Uh, anyway, right, uh, so the one that I'm playing at the moment, right, um, or oh my, I had, um, my my home pop is, um, my starting pops uh, are on Utopian Abundance. It's great, plus 20% happiness and everything. Um, and the others are on um, Shared Burden, which isn't one that you can see here. But it's uh, not worse. Not it's plus ten for each. But you can see that's very very expensive on uh, consumer goods. Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, starting with the game, as you might imagine, it's a it's uh, a strategy game. So um, taking um, choke points uh, is very important. Uh, I will go on to fastest, uh, and I'm just gonna find. A habitable planet as fast as I can to demonstrate one thing. Science ship, build science ship, nice and quick. Right, uh, what do you want to start with? Tech. Me, personally, I don't rate tech in early game. If you're going for a tech heavy build, then a tech he then then keeping your tech in the early game is a good idea. Go for the increased physics from researchers, guys. Uh, we are materialist, <coughs> so it would be sensible for us to do a tech heavy build. But if you're not doing a tech heavy build, don't go for it. Uh, go for ship weapons instead. We're on Grand Admiral, we're on the highest difficulty, and 
the as soonest I meet um, the the enemy, you'll 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 see the difference um, in in terms of why why you want this. Uh, so there's no point having improved deflectors unless you've got fusion reactor. If fusion reactor comes up first, I always go for it. There are other ones that you don't want to skip, like FDL inhibitors. Uh, pop growth speed plus ten percent. I myself never skip that. Um, Corvette build cost minus 5%. As you can see, we've only got 8 alloys coming in, and the Corvette costs 100 alloys at this point. Unless we do this. Ship designer. Create a new design. Da -ba -da -ba -ba. Interceptor. I typically do this. Bonk, donk, 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 donk. Uh, piss off. <laughs> uh, or upgrade it yeah fair enough um, if you really want to push it then you can even take off all of them save that design junk the old one did that actually junk it junk the old one right you know, fleet manager um, currently it's auto best you don't have to do this, you can just click the upgrade fleet button, but the fleet manager is pretty janky, uh, so you want to avoid it. Right, it only is 50 alloys to build a ship now, so if we upgrade it, we actually get back 132 alloys. Nice. Um, I will go for not that one and not that one. Um, Yes, I know the name already exists. I want to upgrade. I want. I want to update the park of oh, whatever. Save. It's because I haven't actually uh, thingy jobbed these guys. All right, there we go. And uh, now we get back only fifty-one. But that fifty-one is nice. Now, not only do we get back fifty-one, but it's also cheaper to build the ships. Uh, right. Off we go. Nice and fast. Uh, oh, yes, I wanted to check the edicts, didn't I? Uh, okay, no, so it's authoritarian. I'll get you um, fair campaign. Right, okay, Three factions. Piss off. Uh, in here, you'll have your... Um, yeah, all of your factions turn up, and they will dictate the approval uh, of the all of the pops that are in that faction. Uh, right, um, there's issues... Yeah, whatever. Don't care. I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Uh, right, uh, issues will pop up here, and that will tell you what policy changes they want in order to make them happier. And you want to, obviously, try and please as many people as you can, but you can't please people all the time. Now, if we go up here, um, you mouse over it and let it expand. Um, for example, um, we're going to get less egalitarians, but we'll get more egalitarians later on because we're imperial. Uh, and we have actual forces that are attracting people to, towards the different ones. Doink, 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 doink. And you can see that. That's how your factions end up moving around. Uh, we don't actually have a, have a faction right now. Uh, we will grow them for in, in a bit, to be honest. Uh, right, uh, we will recruit. Um, it is nice um, to go for the um, the meticulous guy if you can, um, but don't stress yourself. 10% of anomalies discovered doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. Uh, things that you want to ensure that you will get at the beginning. Situation log updated. Uh, if you get a black hole, rush for the black hole. <laughs> rush for the black hole if you can. Um, because the black hole, you will get an ascension perk uh, for galactic wonders, one of which is matter decompressor, which is a huge in income of minerals. Uh, and having that System huge income of minerals, you will convert into all the things that you need to convert into. Right, now, which one of the traditions do you want to go for first? In Research this... Concluded. Shut up, no bad. Uh, gene clinics, I wouldn't skip that unless there's a better option. Spaceport sustaining damage. Situation log updated. Uh, oh my god, we got the... Hang on, we're gonna have to fucking slow down and sort this shit out. Bloody Situation cultists. Cultists is a very annoying early game, um, thing. Uh, if you get the cultists, 
it's an incentive to build a, a big fleet fast and get out there, get it as soon as you possibly can because you'll get a big ship out of it and you'll have like a big power spike from it. Um, if someone else has the cultists in their territory then you end up not being able to do it and ends up being a complete what, a bloody waste of time. Uh, but yes, cultists are uh, irritating. Um, we we need an army, even to fucking board that motherfucker. Um, uh, right. Um, one thing I like to do at the beginning: piss off. Set migration migration controls enabled. That stops people leaving your home planet to go onto. Um, on, onto your fledgling colonies. Uh, you don't really need to change any of the others. Uh, you go to policies early game as well. Uh, expansionist is the right one. Resettlement. Uh, normally I'd go for it allowed if you can. I don't think you can in um, Fanatic Egalitarian. Or if you can it pieces off your faction. Um, you might be on militarised economy or you might be on well on um, civilian economy, I would personally switch back to mixed economy um, right at the beginning without even starting the game. Uh, that's me personally. Uh, one of the things I always do, I always go marketplace of ideas at the beginning because we've got plus 12. Let's go back up to fastest. Well, plus 14. You didn't see a massive increase that time. <clears throat> Um, but your trade grows. Um, 0.25 of your trade into Unity is very strong. Research like, concluded. Cannot stress hard, um, strong enough how great Unity is. Uh, right. Um, robot workers allowed. You can't even outlaw them because we're fanatic materialists. Anyway, if you are spiritualist, uh, you'll probably want to outlaw System them. System survey concluded. Uh, uh, refugees, um, if you're playing as a very purist, um, turn that off. Otherwise, citizen species are people that have citizen rights, not residents. So if we go into species, you know, it's convenient, pause. Um, full citizenship. Um, residents wants other people coming like if you're author author authoritarian you'll always give them residence you can't give them the full citizenship um and you, so you'll end up getting your, your um, refugees from all over the bloody place uh which can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing you know it's an increase in the number of populations yes but it's also a deviance in your in your political structure which leads to lowering your uh, your, your, your planet stabilities and stuff like that uh, right, um, AI rights. Their current citizenship is servitude. And their living conditions is servitude. Now, at some point, AI don't like that. So, if you ever get late game, you will pretty much guarantee at least one Civ is going to have a robot uprising. Uh, if we are in policies, um, oh yeah, well, we okay, fair enough. Then uh, I think we need to research robotics before we're able to define them as having citizen rights. But you can define them as having citizen rights, and most of the time it will avoid that. But you give it citizen rights up there, and you also have to do it here. Uh, as you get more and more and more and more and more and more stuff, um, then it gets more difficult to do. So then you can have or uh, not reset to diff default. Set your default rights. Um, these are more people joining your empire. Uh, uh, did we go? We did we go for one level of authority? No, we didn't. Oh, no, it's because it was xenophobe. Uh, so we can't. We can only give maximum residence. Less happiness, which means. Um, that if we if we end up having a big political spread, uh, then our happiness ain't going to be ideal, and we're going to end up losing stability, we end up losing happiness, we end up losing productivity. Uh, so if we can avoid doing that, we want to avoid doing that. It doesn't mean that you're going to have a smaller population, because you own because you if you have the ability to choose, um, 
you choose which of the, the pops that you grow and you pop grow just your own pops and you don't have to grow um or the you know the residents you can turn on population control stop them from having any children and their population doesn't get any bigger <coughs> they don't die out of course <clears throat> um so yeah that, that, that they can end up being just some slaves that are in residence but don't have a huge impact but if you don't end up um controlling that then then your political spread ends up becoming very very troublesome uh, okay, right, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. Research uh, where, are we on fastest? Yeah, we are on fastest. Uh, right, okay, we're going to go for expansion first. Uh, I would go for Starbase Influence first. Weak. Because we're accelerating off in the background, and I'm not actually doing anything. New colony start with one additional pop, I would do that, and then pop growth speed, I would do that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's turn it down to normal for a minute. Okay, right, um, they're, they're a menace, apparently, but they're not actually particularly scary. Okay, right then, you go and build Starbase there. Right, we've got a planet. Uh, okay, so 70%. You see, if you are 100, use the normal amount of means. But you never, you never, you're very rarely at least going to be at 100% habitability. <laughs> Unless you're robots. Or machine empire or whatnot. Uh, you see, the amount of resources you get from jobs uh, are down, your growth speed is down, your upkeep is up, and your amenities usage is up. Um, now, colonize in a world that's 60%, you'll see it as a yellow sphere on the map instead. <clears throat> uh, I would argue it's worth doing it when you're ready to do it. Uh, right, shipyard, we will colony ship. Uh, obviously, if you... Like, this is an example as to how to do a an efficient opening. Because <laughs> it's running at fastest in background. Afterburners, I always go for afterburners. Always go for afterburners. Uh, energy credits, um, you will start running out of money quite quickly. Early on. Leaping. Go away, go away, go away. Uh, project concluded. What I want you to do now, I want you to explore. I want you to go and meet someone as fast as possible again. Uh, we have uh, a, a, a what's the me call it being built. Uh, you might as well go and build Starbase there. Great, lovely, thanks. Uh, Starbase upkeep is financial. Um, Empire sprawl from systems reduced by 25%. If Research concluded. you got to the point in this game where your Empire sprawl is already going higher, that's probably useful. Anomaly if not, then you know, go that way. Uh, research, whatever. Oh, but I'm, 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 Right, um, your fleet are out of dock. Uh, it is a good idea to always have your fleet in a crew quarters. Oink, go away. Uh, right, uh, leaders, so you have an idea. You are level two. Yeah, it's two percent per level of pop. So you can yeah, a level ten leader. If you can get a level ten leader, you will eventually, uh, probably at least. <laughs> um, you'll get like twenty percent uh, bonus to to your output. Uh, and this guy here, edit duration monthly unit. Uh, Mouse over something else. Uh, right. So we have the, the the greater power. I would go for survivability over weapons. Uh, right. System survey concluded. Da, da, da. Okay, which of the ascension perks do you want to go for first? Uh, oh, as we're talking at one vision, one vision, governing ethics attraction, very, very, very strong. Also, extra unity and less immunities usage, very, very strong. Now, if we do that, uh, we've got an unemployed guy here, but now we're only on minus two. Our stability has gone up, which means that our resource production, our productivity of the species, has gone up. Uh, it is not beyond the realms of sense to build a commercial zone fairly early on. Damn it, I knew that was going to happen. It means, oh god, I've been doing this for how long have we been doing it? An hour and 13 minutes now. Bloody hellfire. Uh, okay, uh, so gene clinics plus Research 10 included. amenities is very potent, but if you can't get that, then um, commercial zones is one that's worth going for. Not only does it give you um, I mean it is, but it also gives you trade, right? We're going to do gene clinics. Uh, here is trade. We've only got trade of nine at the moment. Um, there are games where I've had that up to about eight or nine thousand. 
uh, as you might imagine, at eight or nine thousand, you're getting an extra four and a half thousand in money uh, on the current System trade policy, and you're getting uh, an extra two thousand um, unity. Um, if you concentrate heavily on trade, uh, you will be pretty much un undefeatable. Off-world trading company, another one that you probably wouldn't want to skip. Uh, okay, right, we're getting to the point now where uh, we're going out like this. A good idea is to have a centralised um, shipyard. Uh, right, where are we going to go after this one? Um, if you're going to go Discovery, either go first or second, or last. If you don't get Discovery early, there's absolutely no point in it whatsoever. Domination. Once you finish it, you get monthly influence plus one. It's in a rare circumstances, going domination first is a good idea. Expansion first is complete. usually the good, the best idea. If you're going egalitarian, you might want to go harmony Anomaly first and then prosperity. Battle. If you're going material, um, militarist, you might want to go supremacy first. Uh, if you're going Xenophile, you might want to go Diplomacy first, but it is rare, rare. Uh, in this case, um, we are Materialists. We're going to go Prosperity. Dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Uh, automatic exploration, thank fuck for that. Uh, that's not something that you would typically necessarily have to do, but uh, in, in this case I want to have less fucking about, because I want to find... Uh, Alien Empire as soon as possible. Um, because I want, I'm, I'm saving up all of my alloys. So I'm not building these thingy with jobbies, and I'm build the 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 biggest basic fleet that I can. And I'm going to demonstrate to you, even though I built it as early as I possibly could, that it's still fucking weak. <laughs> Research uh, concluded. Right. So I would because. My empire, if I were to play this properly, would but would basically be branching out in three directions from here. I put starbase there uh, for the shipyard, and then this one I would replace with trade hubs. Can't do that now because that's not the way I'm going to be going around about this demonstration. And then you would exchange the crew quarters for the off-world trading, so off-world trading company. Uh, I'll explain how um, trade works, trade collection works in a minute. Uh, that is useful. Better in mid-game than it is right now, but it's very, very useful. Um, that is very, very, very good early game. In a late game, when you get the repeating text, it's completely pointless. But, you know, it, that, that they, they offer it as something that you can do. Uh, that saves you spending your money month by month by month. That saves you spending your minerals in the initial construction. Uh, having extra clerks increases your trade. Um, clerks provide amenities and trade value. And especially to pop resource output, which is why I went for this with materialist, um, it will increase your. Well, right the way, your specialists, of which researchers are one of them. Uh, also, your. Um, Materialists and your artisans and your bureaucrats and all the rest of them makes them actual. It makes them function better. Five percent doesn't sound like a whole lot, um, particularly early game. It might not sound like a whole lot, but it is definitely a whole lot. Uh, okay, right, fine. We have met some dude. Uh, I'm going to research them. Uh, right, species modifications. You will be able to do this for robots, and you'll be able to do it for biologicals. Uh, what you do, you are going to create a template <clears throat> and you're going to specify which other tra new traits that you want to be adding. If it had negative traits, such as this one has, these two negative traits here, at this stage you're able to remove them, usually. But you're not able to remove positive traits, so you can't completely refit your species, for example. Uh, you can't modify their habitability yet, but you will get technical that as well. Uh, later on you'll get more and more points that you can spend doing these kinds of things. As you might imagine, if you've got many different species, this becomes a very laborious process and it takes longer and longer and longer and longer to do. Uh, also, the, you end up with, um, like, if you have lots of migration treaties, and they, if you have Xenocompatibility turned on, then they start into breeding, 
um, if you presume, assuming at least that you've gone for the Ascension perk, um, which makes them even better because they're plus two um, points even even above everything else. But it means that you've got yet another bloody row um, to improve, which becomes very, 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 very frustrating. Uh, okay, right. Um, uh, a quick tip, actually, to be fair, actually, um, if we create um, uh, assembly co assembly cost, no, we want assembly speed would probably be best. Uh, there we go, plus fifteen percent. That's big. Uh, housing usage probably arguably good. Uh, upkeep probably better. Uh, all right. So a quick tip: if you've done that and you end up with a bunch of people that have got zero, if you go to modify template, there's delete there. Um, on the growing, any profile at all that exists within that species list, um, other, than, um, other than the base ones that they end up treeing out of, treeing, you know, um, subcategorized, any subcategory um, will grow on the planet. And if you have one with zero and you're like, I really don't want these people to be growing anymore, hit the delete key and it will if you've got it on any species button, or if you're unable to actually change it from any species, uh, then it will take that one out of the queue and it will grow other people. Most of the time, at least. Uh, okay, right, so we've met uh, an alien. We know that this is an actual species. Uh, we did meet these aliens where they the hell we met them. I think it was there, wasn't it? Um, uh, and I, from experience, knew that they were crystals, um, just in the way that they were distributed around the system. I knew that there were crystals. Right, but we got this one. That's the same picture as we have for our science ships. So we know it's a science ship. Uh, you'll also be able to see one that has construction ship icon. <laughs> okay, so we know that this is going to be... Um, uh, we don't want to survey. We want to explore. Uh, going to be one. Right, uh, Zeta Menace. We can read that. Situation log. Investigating Zay and Menace. So let's cancel that one because we know that, that one's going to be the crystals and we'll actually research this one instead. Ah, ba 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 ba. Um, we'll go for ref Nebula Refinery. Uh, mine station output, good. Um, but that starts off um, all of the other mine station increases ones. Um, that's one that you wouldn't want to skip. Also, when you get the external XO armor. Thing. I can't remember what it's called. It's mining output plus five percent. You might think that's not actually all that potent. I'll skip it for something else. But that's the first stage in order to get to robots. So we're materialists, so we started off as robots, but that, so it doesn't matter to us. But if you're sitting there thinking, why have I not had robots pop up in the technology yet? It's probably because you keep skipping that tech. I've done that many times myself. Um, yeah, additional edicts campaigns would be nice. Um, edicts, this is where we have a plus two of. Uh, we don't have many edicts at the moment, but we'll get uh, more as we go along. Uh, right, you, uh, I'll send you up there to explore up there. Uh, this isn't, you, like, you wouldn't, unless you are a xenophile and you want to meet people. Construction project concluded. Uh, ring world encountered. I've not seen that. I've not seen that in a very, very long time. Uh, oh, wow, crikey. Enigma is that Enigmatic Fortress? No, it's not. Is it Enigmatic Fortress, maybe? Research concluded. Da, 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 da. Um, right, I don't know where we can count with them, because I'm going really quickly. Because um, I got distracted by that right explore system. I really, really, really want meeting you. Um, but um, I wouldn't specifically go for that, but for the sake of edicts, I am going to go for that because I have an edict that's not being used right now. Yeah, that's free resource, pretty much. Uh, you wouldn't normally have 300 influence because I'm not actually expanding. Uh, where were we going? We were going for a specialist pop out for you. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. We're xenophobe, they're xenophobe, they're pacifist, and they're spiritualist. Uh, it doesn't matter what you say here, but you know, for the sake of flavour, why not say uh, alien scum? Right, okay, we only have three ships. 
they are overwhelming fleet power. See how that, well, they're, they're already superior. I mean, I haven't been optimizing um, how we build at the moment. He's, he's uh, two robots that are unemployed because they can only do mining and uh, and agricultural jobs. So uh, we will build a couple of mining districts. They have two jobs each in mining district, but <clears throat> um, we have um, we, we're going to be growing more robots anyway. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, right, okay, so they're overwhelming. These guys, I'm going to give them a full 20 fleet and I spend all of the resources building up to size 20 fleet as quickly as I possibly can. We've literally only spent um, 300 alloys expanding um, our borders. It's probably not even 300 alloys expanding our borders. Uh, and we're going to throw absolutely everything into fleet as quickly as we possibly can. All right, fair enough. We could have built another shipyard to make this go quicker, but for the sakes of demonstration, and here give you an idea as to how intimidating. Hello, you're more materialists, and you're pretty damn close. You're overwhelming, and your science is better, and your everything's better. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, faster, 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 faster. More, 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 more. Ah, and just skip this in editing, to be fair. Research. Okay, I did miss something. Um, once, once you've done that, apply the template. I forgot to actually do that. You have to make sure that you do you hit that research option. Otherwise, you, you, you don't get to do it. Um, but that takes absolutely ages pretty early on. Okay, factions, 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 factions. Uh, you see, right, I've got an approval of 39%. That's minus 10% happiness of all 13 pops that are a member of that guy. That's because we don't have um, research agreements. My brain. Uh, and there are other people who are better at science than us, which means that they're pissed off. Uh, however, our uh, you know uh, you can mouse over this materialist ethos and xenophobe ethos. Uh, these guys are happier. Certain dominance would be nice, um, but it'll only please them for a time. Which we, you know they're a bit more fickle. But <clears throat> plus five percent happiness to all of the pops on this one. Now, uh, if we go over here, we have fifty nine happiness. <clears throat> uh, rulers typically are always going to be happier. Uh, if we have a look at that. We'll keep that in mind. 59% happiness. And we're going to go to... This isn't something that you do early game, but this is how um, how, how, how you game them, right? So the, the pop approval rating that you don't like, suppress that faction. And the one that you do like, so promote that faction. Uh, that's influence expensive to do. Uh, but this is, you know, an example as to how you do it late game or mid game when 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 you've got less stuff to spend your influence on. Uh, <clears throat> right, so we're at seven and thirteen, and we're going to see how they go, uh, and we'll come back when I've got a fleet of twenty corvettes that have all fully upgraded. Okay, right here we are. Uh, one thing I didn't uh, cover with the faction suppressing and supporting, um, they are minus twenty percent approval because they're minus twenty percent. Uh, because they're being suppressed and they are not increasing approval because they're being promoted it is important to, to note that one so you might find it uh, more beneficial to only promote a faction rather than suppress the other factions we haven't had, we've had um, one pop growth I think maybe um, but you can see in just in the approval dropping we've had a drop in um, happiness and that has had a drop in stability if we were to go to the factions and we would stop this noise uh, and it always resets at the beginning of the month Research so don't panic concluded. for that now we've got well okay so we were supposed to go up, supposed to go up in happiness then but we didn't okay fair enough we don't clearly have enough <laughs> dealing with that um, but also the the shift of them will 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 get to a great happiness. Okay, they are also bringing in um, extra influence. If you have lower approval, so we're on thirty nine, and we will suppress them, 
and we'll go to the end of the month again. Research okay, concluded. we go back to the factions. We're getting less influence from them because they have less approval. Uh, right, okay. Um, there's two months gone by, but two months isn't really much to go by. Right, so 13 years and seven months, and we have a full fleet of fully upgraded, well, relatively speaking, fully upgraded ships. And these guys are still overwhelming. And these guys are superior. So when you're playing on Grand Admiral, you need to be aware of that. Right. Oh, for f sake.